Hey guys, how's it going? Lucas here with Love Cubs Gaming. We're back with a new series to the channel. Uh, it's called Prison Architect. I was going through the uh, Xbox Play Store, or what is it called? The Xbox Game Store. And I saw this game there, and it looked cool. I tried it out, and it's pretty much like a tycoon type game. But we're going to get right into it. I'm going to do a new game, and I'm going to give myself... a lot of money. I don't know if I want unlimited. Yeah, let's do unlimited. Prison size, let's go large. Difficulty, let's leave that there. Who do we want our Lord Warden to be? Periwinkle, sure. Oh yeah, is there different things you get? Okay, so they have different things. Warden, the most balanced individual on the planet. He does his job and nothing else. The lobbyist uses his connections to make sure only easily controlled prisoners end up coming his way. Halves the likelihood of receiving prisoners are too violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighters. Ruthless and terrifying, Rita has the reputation for running her facilities through judicial application of fear. Let's go with this guy. Oh, I hit a button. Alright, I think we're ready anyways. So let me just fast forward this. Figure out where they're going to drop them off. And they're dropping them off right there. So, I need to slow this down a bit and let's go construct some stuff so first I'm going to plan out the area let's grab some walls here and what I did last time was I pretty much made each room individually and connected them all up with hallways <laughs> that worked but it was messy so what I want to do this time is make one huge area and just do that and if I wait for this to fill in and I hit build plan these little workers are going to start making the walls and the foundation so if I click build plan that would have cost me a hundred and eleven thousand dollars. And these guys, you're gonna see here, are getting to work. So I'm gonna build a pathway. Let's build the pathway like that. Perfect. Build plan. And you can see over here that they are getting to work. They chop down the trees and they start building the walls. So in the meantime, my entrance is going to be over here, which means I'm going to need a door, walls and doors. So let's do a standard door entrance. Right there. Now I want walls. They're doing brick walls I think, so I'm gonna do brick walls as well. I gotta wait till they're done the floor. But I'm gonna fast forward this until they have finished building the walls and the floor. Alright guys, so they pretty much finished building the walls, but just the tops, there. They are all done. It's just gonna reload and shadow eyes. I don't even know what it does here. Oh, it's putting all the lights in. So what we're gonna start with doing is going to quick rooms, and I'm going to put a utility room up top here right here in the corner and down here in the corner 
this is going to send our water and electrical all over the room. All over the room. All over the building. And I don't think they built that right. Oh, there. They finished building that right. That's going to all fill in. And all those flashing yellow things are basically lights that need electrical. If I zoom in, they're like lightning bolts. And to do that, they're going to get this generator working. And I go to power supply. Yeah. And go electrical cable. If I bring power off of this, these are called capacitors. So if I bring this down, zoom out, all the way across, they are going to build electrical all the way across there. And you'll see, let me just go over to this one over here. Watch what happens when they fill it all in. An area is probably going to go to around here going to be all filled in with green. That's going to mean that that whole area is there. That whole area is energized. So what I need to do now is bring this across like this. But I don't want to connect them personally because that's going to, going to cross the wires together. So I don't want to do that because it's two different generators. Let's bring this down as well. And the reason why I have two generators is because if I zoom in on this generator, you can see that it's starting to fill up. See that bar there? If that gets too full, the generator shuts down. And while you're in a running a prison, all your locked doors and stuff are gonna be open. And yeah, let's just say it doesn't end well with prisoners escaping. If I can get this whole area covered in green, that'll be perfect. I'm not sure if I have to come down any further. I may as well, just to play it safe. Just like that. Yeah, it's all filling in. Okay. So this one stopped working. switch on. So it's overloaded. So that means this one's going to be overloaded soon. <laughs> Darn. Okay, so I need a power station in each area. So let me go back to rooms. No, quick rooms. I'm putting another utility room right here and right there. Get them to build that real quick. Go back to construction and power supply. Let's see if I can. You're going to shut down real quick. Of course you are. Remove cables. Let's remove that cable. Let's remove that cable. And now, theoretically, if I switch each one on, Boom. 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 And boom. Nope, wrong one. Boom. I have got light to the whole area. Beautiful. And they're all about half. Yep, half loaded. 
Some areas of the prison are without power. Yeah, I don't think so. Pretty sure they all have power. So now I'm going to build a reception room. And unfortunately, there isn't a quick room for a reception room. So I gotta go to the walls. Come down here. I'm gonna do concrete walls. Bring this out that far? Sure. Bring that down. That's fine. Figure out. I want to put a jail door right there. Let's do a regular one. Just like that. Let's put a staff door right over here. Let's go for another wall just like this and then I'll do another jail door right there that's cool so what I need to do Why do we have like half power? Construction, power supply. Okay, that's fine. I'll just, you know, boom. Get them to build that cable. And that should work. So, what I want to focus on today is. That still didn't work. Yeah, that worked. Building the reception room. So that's gonna be this first room right here. So for reception, let's go for, where is it, rooms. I gotta find that says reception. Reception. Office, reception. And if I select this area as the reception room, it's gonna automatically set it for the first area that they come into. So, and if I also go to construction and objects, because I'm hovering over the reception room, it's gonna tell me what I need in the reception room. So I'm gonna need a desk. So to do that, I'm gonna put the desk right, yeah, right there is good. Let's put a chair just so it looks pretty. Let's put two. We're going to need tables. Boom. 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 We are definitely going to be needing a metal detector. Just like that. Let's also put one on this side. Actually, no. We're going to put one. A jail door here with a metal detector if I can find it. Fridge, light, metal detector. Oh, that's the wrong one. Cancel. Right there. No, that was actually in the right spot. Cancel. Open. Okay. And I did it again. So, objects. Let's see if I can find this again. Put it right there. Alright, so that's the reception room. I've got everything I need for the reception room technically, but just for the hex of it, let's go for... Can I not just put any other objects I want? There we go. I want to put a... I'm looking for sofas. Yeah, these guys. Put it right there 
and there. Sure. Is there like a little end table? Let's do the end table. No, there is none. That's fine. And what we're going to do real quick is power up this thing here. Oh, no. Boom. Boom. So that should connect that metal detector with electrical power. So that's the reception room. This is going to be staff area over here. But I am also going to walls and doors. Concrete wall. This can be the washroom in behind here. Just like so. Okay. This is going to be where is it? I want objects. Actually, let's make this a room first. Parole. Sure, let's make this a parole room. I'm not sure what we need, so if I go hover over this, it says missing items. So if I click X, I must need a visitor table. So, visitor table just like that? Sure. Get that built in there. And I think I might just look for a filing cabinet. Maybe a garbage bin. That can go in the corner. No. Let's put a filing cabinet in here. Or a couple. I wasn't kidding when I said couple. Oh, cancel. And that will be the parole room. And then also up top here, I'll put a visitor's room where visitors can walk through the metal detector and walk in. And because I need to have them walking through a metal detector, apparently visitors can bring like weapons and contraband into the prison so I need to detect those things before they actually are able to do that construction objects actually let's go to walls and door and I want right there go for concrete wall make the visitor room bigger than the other rooms and then if I go for rooms again where is it? reception visitation and if I click here purchase objects visitor table Go like that, like that. Perfect. Build those four things. And that is the start to our prison. So it's coming along. Next episode, I'm going to build the staff room over here, as well as start building some jail cells along this wall and a food area over here, maybe. But that's it. That's all we have time for today. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you want to see more of this. Maybe I can try to get some more videos out a little more frequently. I don't know why that did that, so I'm going to go to walls and door. Concrete wall there and there. Perfect. That will get fixed up. Everything else is good, except apparently there's no power right there. Which doesn't really make sense. Power supply. You 
You're saying that right beside the generator there is no power. Yeah, that makes sense. But it looks so beautiful. All the different greens. Yeah, okay. Like I said before guys, sorry I got distracted. Leave a like, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more of this. I'll do what I can. And don't forget to have a lovely day. Bye guys.